Hi. Now for this question, we're asked to find this shaded area then between the curve here, y equals e to the power 2x minus 18x plus 15, and the line PQ. Remember in the previous part we showed that this point Q, which was a minimum point on the curve, had an x coordinate of natural log 3. So in other words, if we just projected down from here, okay, that point here would have an x coordinate of the natural log of 3. So how are we going to go about finding this shaded area then? Well, what we've got to do is essentially find the area under the curve between P and Q. Let's just say we call it A. That would be this area that I'm shading here, okay, underneath the curve between x is naught and natural log of 3. And then when I found that area, I'm going to look at the area of the trapezium OPQ and back down to the natural log of 3 here. Let's just say we call that point R. Okay, R equals that point. So I'm going to be looking at the area of the trapezium OPQR, and then I'm going to take the area A that we found away from the area of the trapezium, and I'll get that grey area that we require. So let's start then with, say, working out the area A, the area underneath the curve. So to do that, let's just say area A equals... Well, we're going to need to do integration, okay? We're going to need to integrate the curve between the limits 0, okay, and the natural log of 3. So, okay. And then the curve is e to the power 2x minus the 18x plus 15. We're integrating all of this with respect to x. And if we integrate e to the 2x, that's going to be e to the power 2x divided by 2. The integral of minus 18x, well, that's going to be minus 18x squared over 2. Add 1 to the power, divide by the new power. Minus 18x squared over 2, which reduces down to 9x squared. As for the 15... Integrating that constant just gives us 15x. So if I put that in square brackets, like so, and then we've got our limits between naught and the natural log of 3. Next, I substitute my limits in, starting with natural log of 3. So what we've got here is e to the power 2 times the natural log of 3. And that's divided by 2. Then we've got minus 9 times the natural log of 3, all squared. And then we've got plus 15 times the natural log of 3. And then from this, we subtract what we get when we put 0 through. And I can see that this term will be 0, this term here will be 0, but the first term, that won't be 0. e to the power 0 is just going to be 1, so you're going to have 1 over 2, a half. So we're going to just need to subtract a half. Now because I'm going to be a bit short on room, I'm just going to have to squeeze this in here. When it comes to e to the power 2 natural log of 3, what I've got to see this as is the natural log of 3 squared. Remember, you can bring the 2 up as a power. So you've got e to the power natural log of 3 squared, e to the natural log of 9. Now, when you've got e to the natural log of something, it's just that value. So in other words, e to the natural log of 9 is simply 9. Check it out on the calculator if you're unsure, but that numerator here comes to 9. So you've got 9 over 2, which is 4.5. 4 4.5 minus this half here gives us the 4.
okay so I've jumped a few stages there really just to save space then we've got these two terms here minus 9 times the natural log of 3 all squared and then plus 15 times the natural log of 3 so that's the area then a the area underneath the curve next we've got to work out the area of this trapezium OPQR and to do that I need to get the heights of these parallel sides so I need to find the y values of P and Q so if we start with P let's just say at P right we know that x is 0 and when x is 0 what's the corresponding y value going to be well what we've got here is e to the power 0 is 1 minus 0 plus 15 so it's 1 plus 15 so that gives us y equals 16 so we know that we've got this side as being 16 units I'll just put that in there as being 16 and for q let's just have a look at q at q what do we know there well we know that the x coordinate is the natural log of 3 and so to get y therefore y is going to be e to the power 2 times the natural log of 3 and then minus 18 times the natural log of 3 plus the 15 and as I said earlier up here for this term here we think of this as the natural log of 3 squared the natural log of 9 in other words e to the power natural log of 9 is just simply 9 so what we've got here then is 9 plus the 15 which is 24 so you've got 24 minus 18 times the natural log of 3 so we're now in a position now we've got our heights okay we've got 16 there we know that this height here RQ that's going to be 24 minus 18 times the natural log of 3 so when it comes to working out the area of OPQR that's a trapezium and so we we'll just put an intro here area of OPQR so when it comes to working out the area of a trapezium remember it's half the sum of the parallel sides times the distance apart the parallel sides their lengths are going to be 16 and then we add that to the other parallel side has a height then of 24 minus 18 times the natural log of 3 and then we've got to multiply that by the distance between our parallel sides which is the natural log of 3 so I just put that there so if we expand this out I can see that we've got the 16 plus 24 that's 40 half of 40 that's going to be 20 and it's multiplied by the natural log of 3 so that's 20 natural log of 3 and then we've got half of the minus 18 natural log of 3 so that's minus 9 times the natural log of 3 but then it's times that natural log of 3 so it's minus 9 times the natural log of 3 squared okay so when it comes to working out the area that we want okay that shaded area it's going to be equal to the area of the trapezium minus the area under the curve so we've got 20 natural log of 3 minus 9 times all of the natural log of 3 all squared and then we've got minus and if I put this in square brackets we've got our area under the curve is 4 minus 9 times the natural log of 3 all squared plus 15 times the natural log of 3 now if I clean this up what do we get well we've got 20 times the natural log of 3 
and I can see that we've got minus 15 natural log of 3. So that's going to give us 5 times the natural log of 3. Then I can see this term, minus 9 times the natural log of 3 all squared. When we add it, because we've got minus minus here, to 9 times the natural log of 3 all squared, that's going to cancel out, just give us 0. So that's nice. And then we've just got minus this 4. And we're being asked for the exact area, so that's our exact area. I'm going to write square units there because it's an area. OK, square units. I'm sure you don't lose any marks if you forget to put that in, but there we go. So answer, the exact answer, 5 natural log of 3 minus 4 for that shaded area. Quite a long question then. But I hope you've been able to follow my methods, okay?